Good morning, friends, and welcome to Wednesday, August 30th. Barbega will start us with the Lily of the Valley. Wednesday's devotions found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Catherine Kelsey. And our scripture reading is Matthew 16, 24 to 28. And then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone wants to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will, pro what will it profit them to gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Jesus says, if any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. It's easy to minimize or trivialize this invitation as if a cross were a burden that we might carry for a while. The only time persons carried their cross in the Roman Empire was in their way to their execution. The condemned person had a few hours left to live at that point, and cross-carrying put one into liminal time between life and death, heaven and earth. Jesus is explicit that a change will occur. Those who lose their life for my sake will find it. We could get sidetracked wondering what life we might lose and what life we might find, but Jesus' declaration invites us to think about something else instead. What does it mean to trust Jesus? Does it mean trusting enough to let go of what we know, our lives as they are, in order to be found in a different kind of life? Moses, taking his flock beyond the wilderness to Mount Horeb, finds himself in a place where his life as a shepherd ended and his life as a prophet began. Where do we go to lose and then to find ourselves and find our lives? We go to prayer. Prayer can put us in a place where we practice trusting Jesus. Not just trusting that what we ask for will be granted, but also trusting that the one who invites us to lose our lives for his sake will find our lives for us. Our attentive listening time and prayer is practice for the bigger moments of losing and finding. Those moments will surprise us just as surely as Jesus' death and resurrection surprised the first disciples. Let us pray. Here we are, Lord God, who resurrects. You have our attention because we trust you. Help us to trust you in the loss of our familiar life so that we are ready to be found in yours. Amen. Our closing hymn is Where He Leads Me.
blessings to you all.